Greetings, everyone. Uh, Thomas has been kidnapped by the guards. We've been told by the people who are here watching that we might want to go talk to the nearby guard station to see if we can find out any information about why he was uh, kidnapped. Bart suggests going to talk to people, you know, near the castle to just find this secret area or the secret tunnel. But let's let's talk to these people first. Soldiers kidnapped friend. Well, it wasn't us. Are you sure they were soldiers? What well, if they were bandits dressed up as soldiers? And are you sure you had a friend? What if he was a figment of your imagination? Yeah, no, that sounds about right of the I don't want to do anything. Soldier sees your friend. I'm sorry to hear that. I know this might be tough to hear, but it's very likely he was a bad person. Now, if you'd like to cry my soul shoulder, you may. No, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to talk to Coin Flip last. Let's talk to you. Seven, eight, nine, dang, lost count. Chief wants me to take inventory of the birds in the city. He says it's monumentally important. I'm just glad I'm still trusted with important duties after my last screw up. One, two, three. Yep, uh, he's just being kept busy. Oh, you're not a guard. I like to look at people at the people below and ponder what kind of lives they're all living. Kids playing, adults working. Each life is unique and intricate in its own way. Someone could be struggling quietly on a quest to save the world, and you'd never know. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. That's that's kind of what we're doing. Also, hey, here's another guard. Your friend was taken away. I'm afraid I haven't seen anyone in, anybody in a lab coat. Maybe my colleagues inside may know something. Well, so far we haven't had anything except for this last guard to talk to. Soldier dragged away a friend of yours. That doesn't sound right. We leave ample documentation for all our activities, and my log shows no such thing. Maybe take it up with the castle guards. They're separate from us city guards. Very common mistake. Okay, so... It was probably the castle guards that took him, so let's go talk to them. Hi, new person. We're talking to the guards first. No visitors. Be gone, citizen. Leave the premises, or be forcefully expelled. Expulsed. This place is off limits. Enter to face certain doom. What do you think? Pretty good, right? All my co-workers are talking this way now. Seeing people wince in fear is kind of fun. Well, they're not going to help, so how about you, mysterious stranger? You look lost, miss. Perhaps there's something I can help you with. Why are you here? I'm just an old man out for a stroll. I love to smell the flowers in the castle gardens. Unfortunately, it seems the castle is still closed to the public. What could be the holdup, I wonder? Well, they're alien invaders! Oh, wait. Psst. Perhaps we shouldn't talk about the alien invaders so openly. Maybe that's why they captured Thomas? Let's be more co covert in our sleuthing. Okay, fine, Bart. Well, let's just ask about the secret canal outright then. The secret canal in the castle. To the castle? Hmm. That sounds like something they would do. What were they called? Ah, yes. The Light Casters. I hear my students speak of them in hushed tones. Maybe someone in the student dormitories would be able to help you. You can find the student dorms on the west side of the city. Okay, well, we haven't been into the dorms yet, but we have definitely gone past it a few times. As he said, the dorms are on the west side of the city. Also, uh, you know, let's talk to these two. You're more than just fan. You're like our manager. As an honorary aunt. So, because it's been enough real time, I'm getting some free money. Alto has returned to us, and he brought a new friend. Melody seems nice, so I think we'll get along just fine. Still, what has become of our old friend, Kobede? We'll wait for her, too. I believe one day we'll all play together again. Well, one can only hope. 
onwards to the student dormitories to find out about these light casters. And also, let's talk to you, because you're repairing a roof and you look weird. A drunk was dancing on the roof and fell straight through. Created this nice hole, so I have to fix it. There's a lesson here. Never let people know you're good at fixing roofs. Yep, not don't drunk, don't get drunk or drunkenly dance on a roof or dance on a roof. No, don't let people know you're good at, uh, good at fixing roofs. No class today, so I can just wear my casuals. The school, the school uniforms aren't bad, but you just can't beat the clothes you grew up in. Supposedly, the school's uniforms are to, are purple to represent Dea's grapes. The vineyards were Dea's most important industry in its formative years. Well, that's a nice little bit of trivia. It doesn't have to do with light casters, though. These dorm halls are decorated with our city's rich history. On the left is a portrait of, M Miles Gus of Mills Gusto. He designed the city's very first windmills. In the middle is Tara Digsby. She laid the groundwork for our city's intricate system of tunnels. Finally, on the right, we have Beardicus. He's famous for growing the world's longest beard. Well, that's something, I guess. I uh, heard that if you sleep on a book, your brain will absorb the material. I'm desperate enough to try. And he fell asleep on the book. And up here, uh, there's a ladder, and you can barely see it, but there's also a switch, where... With a good bank shot... I'm giving it one more try. There's the bank shot! We can bring the ladder down, and head on up to the attic of the dorm, and get ourselves a nice chunk of rent. Not a ton, but, you know, it, it's a nice small chunk. Unfortunately, we still haven't found anyone to tell us about the light casters, so... Uh, do you know about the light casters? Mom, you're embarrassing me. I just want to make sure you have enough under- Mom! Can't believe this is happening. I went to university to get away from you. Oh, honey, your temper's acting up again. Does somebody need a timeout? Ah! Yeah, no, if you're going to a university, that can- That definitely has to be aggravating. I almost missed an exam because of the Broken Kingdom Bridge. Ugh, darn the Ouroboros. The Fairy Moonlight Ravine did get me back in the nick of time. But I was so flustered, I don't think I did well. Tee, <laughs> the cute boy across the hall has been making eyes at me. She sent me a letter requesting my permission for courtship. I shall not deny. The halcyon days of my life are soon to come. All right, so most of the students here are, you know, your average, everyday students, it sounds like. What about you? Light casters? I heard of them. They're some secret student society my roommate is in. He invited me, but they sound like some bad mojo. Hidden canals, dark rituals, that kind of jazz. You're not into that, are you? Uh, well, you didn't ask him yourself. I think he went to get some noodles. Well, if you remember, last episode, I pointed out a, a stall in the underground that is selling spicy noodles. So, we want to talk to anyone here who looks like a student, and since the uniform is purple, we want to talk to everyone who's wearing purple. Eating out so often will deplete my funds. I really should learn how to cook. Alternatively, I could beg my parents for more money. It's their fault I'm in this mess. They ill-prepared me for life. Uh, it's probably a little of A, a little of B, let's be fair. I always have to get spicy food so my roommate won't eat it. Maybe I should find a new roommate. Uh, maybe. Unless, you know, spicy food is good to you. Light casters. Yeah, I know the name well. Some might even say that I, Bimmy, am one of them. Who wants to know? Underground canal enthusiast, a future light caster. Nobody. Let's say nobody. Nobody? Yes, because last co because light casters are nobody. The path of a light caster is steeped in darkness. You will know no rest and must remain vigilant forever. Have you the courage? Dot dot dot. Strong, silent type, eh? I dig it. Well, I see no reason to deny you. I'll have to check your student ID first. You know, to see if you're really a student here. 
<laughs> Just kidding. Who does that? Anyway, to become a lightcaster, you must find and get the approval of the four lightcaster heads. The four lightcaster heads are alumni of Daily University who are also lightcasters in their time. Here's a stamp card. Uh, upon finding a lightcaster head, they'll stamp your card. Once the four lightcaster heads have agreed to it, we can officially begin your initiation ritual. Any questions? Uh, where do I find these four? I'll tell you, but I can only do so in riddles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The first lightcaster presides over a den of replenishment. The second lightcaster presides over transcribed knowledge. The third lightcaster presides over fire and molten metal. The fourth lightcaster resides at the beginning. Those are the ones you still have to find. They're all in this city, so you shouldn't have to go far. Any questions? No, I'm good now. It doesn't matter what dialogue choices you choose, by the way. He basically forces you to join the lightcasters. Now, presides over fire and molten metal? That sounds like a blacksmith, doesn't it? Lightcaster. Blacksmith has stamped our card. There's one down. Next, they said refresh... The others, actually, I should say, are refreshment, transcribe knowledge, and the beginning. Well, refreshment sounds like a restaurant, doesn't it? What about you? Hi, welcome to the Blue Lobster. Make yourself at home. I applied to be chef a chef once. My food made everyone puke. Of course, I had to clean that up. And, well, that's how I found my calling. Well, I'm glad you found your calling. Oh, uh, what about you, bartender? Welcome to Blue Lobster. What can I help you with? He just has food and drinks. Uh, you can get some good stuff here. One thing to note, he serves both honey brew and something known as uh, grape juice. Grape juice is basically cheaper honey brew, if I'm remembering correctly. It gives you another energy boost, but it's for a shorter duration. Ah, money, money, money. Huh? Lightcasters? Ah, yes, I know the institution well. Stick with them, girl, and you'll get far in life. Restaurant owner has stamped our card. You know, we haven't talked to you before, though. Are you one of this restaurant's patrons? If so, thank you for contributing to my fortune. My greatest joy in life is to lay out my money like so and count it slowly. Ha ha ha! I love money. Okay, well, we have two down and two to go. Next was transcribed knowledge, which... What is a library but transcribed knowledge? And you are the most unique-looking character here. Lightcasters? Uh, is my husband still doing that? Fine. Here's your stamp. The librarian has stamped our card. Back in my youthful days, visiting the library was a privilege to be earned, and books were a rarity to be treasured. I see now that abundance has rendered the youth in indolent. One boy sleeps and, the and two girls playing. Does no one come to the library to study anymore? I mean, like, there's definitely at least one person up there who looked like she was still studying. Now, our last hint was the beginning. That, you might think to go, you know, to the entrance of Dea City. No, it means to where you started this entire quest line. Me, a uh, lightcaster. Correct. I am the beginning. The one who planted the idea in your head and sent you on this quest. Turns out I'm not just an old man, but a lightcaster head. You've done well to come this far. The old man stamped our card. <laughs> Thank you all for gathering. Unfortunately, two lightcaster heads will not be attending. They have drifted astray, gone towards the shadows. Do not fear, brother. We will bring them back. A uh, subject for another time. Today, we welcome a new member into our ranks. We will hold the initiation ritual. I, I, dot, dot, dot. Miss Gale, it's time for you know our true purpose. As lightcasters, we cast light over darkness by repairing the broken lights in the city's underground canals. I, I.
Um, legend has it that the royal family once relied on the Aqualine to escape an angry mob. Other tales include a princess who eloped, as well as a king just shirking off his royal duties. As you can see, the Aqualine plays a vitally important role in Dea's cultural heritage. To ensure they can be safely navigated by future royal family members, the star canals must have proper illumination. Someone must replace the light bulbs when they burn out. And we bear that responsibility, hence why we are called the Lightcasters. I, 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 Gale, in order to join the Lightcasters, you must brave the darkness, the dark aqualine, alone. And that's it. This test is to see whether you like it or not. The smell, smell the cold, damp air, appreciate the history and the masonry. Let it speak to you. You're forgetting the part about the flickering lights. Oh, right. Silly me. I'm getting old. So old. There are flickering lights within the Aqualine. While it may be tempting to think they're broken, they're entirely intentional. Rumor has it, the royal family used the flickering lights as a sign to navigate between the city and the castle. I can neither confirm nor deny such a thing. Just know that the flickering lights are off limits. Without further ado, let's begin your initiation ritual. Well, let's talk to you all first. Lightcasters don't just replace light bulbs. We also muck up any gummies that we find. Keeps the place slime free, slime free and sanitary. Uh, yeah. And the bigger star gummies make the best punching bags. Lightcasting is rough and dark work, but someone's got to do it. Okay, fair. Most people usually back out at this point because they're afraid of a little darkness. But not you. I knew you'd be a good fit when you came around asking about some secret canal. It's an acquired taste down there. It's acquired taste. Down there, it'll be just be you, the darkness, and the sound of water. In fact, I do my most profound thinking down there. And remember, it's okay to observe the flickering lights, but no touching. Most kids won't give us the time of day, but Bimmy hangs up, hangs with us. Maybe he doesn't have any friends? Poor kid. Money, money. I should get back to my office soon. My money will miss me. Well, let's head on in. I don't know about this light casting business. It kind of sounds like janitorial work, except you don't get paid. Nevertheless, this Aqualine must support the secret passageway that Thomas spoke of. We're close. That other thing they said about flickering light, that's them, might be key. Well, let's head on down into the darkness. And also, actually I don't need this because right here is a light switch. Yay, we have cast light on people. Let's cast some more light. And, you know, beat up the star gummies as best as we can. Now, we don't actually have to kill these two. I just came over here because uh, there was a chest over there. Those two giant slimes, if you want to kill them, you're welcome to. But they don't have anything other than a standard loot drop. What we actually want to do is head on over to the right. And there is a jumping puzzle here. But, well, not a jumping puzzle, but a timer puzzle. Well, there went that uh, rat. Unfortunately, as you saw, up to the right, though, the... Pathway is blocked. Also, depending on how you land here, Gale will either be in her uh, life preserver or be walking. If she's walking, you can attack, which allows you to do things like get that moonstone. Yep, you see, like, this time I'm in the preserver, but if I jump a little bit, now she's walking. It's because the water is just at about the height to be able to start uh, drowning Gale if she didn't have the preserver. But... Well, that was a little bit more self-damage than I intended. Uh, there it is. We got some mystery meat. And, ooh, there is a flickering light there. We'll have to go deal with that in a bit. But first, we have a quick puzzle to deal with. There are three blocks here. And over to the left, we have a heart rupee. Which, uh, you can probably guess what you need to do. Basically, the idea is you need to take these blocks and move far enough with them so that you can uh, 
be able to jump from one to the other and then throw the last one close enough to that heart rupee that you can then use it to jump up there. If you manage to accidentally destroy one of the blocks, it's okay. The area where you saw the three at the beginning will just constantly spew new crates as, as you destroy them, basically. Just ensure that you always have three. But now that we have that, let's head over here and investigate this light. Well, there was a stone protruding, so let's hit it while we're temporarily immune to everything that's hitting us. We heard a rumbling sound in the distance. Okay, we took overall one damage. That's fine. The giant fish didn't actually hurt us, which was the thing I was more worried about. Yes, I'm doing this both for mystery meat and because there is a badge for killing critters, which I need some more uh, progress towards. Before we head up, though, because as you probably surmised, that stone opened the blocked doors over there. I want to come over here just to show something. Over here to the right, we have a moonstone up there. And, okay, fish, I'm tired of you. We're dealing with these fish this time. And enjoying the fact that we have so much more stamina that we can do this properly. And, honestly, the stronger pet really helps as well. Now, give me your fish meat. All right. Unfortunately, we can't get that... Uh, Moon Pearl, or Moonstone, it's not a Moon Pearl, it's not Zelda, we could try to throw a bomb at it, but then it would fall underwater, and we can't actually fall down far enough to be able to get it if it's in the water. So we'll have to find a way to fall from above. And over here is a new type of Songstone. It's similar to the Ouroboros, whereas it has a unique pattern, but we don't know the song for that yet. So we now need to head on over and head up. As another note, if you notice, because I killed that one giant fish, the other one just didn't spawn again. Which, to be fair, is the actual reason why I went and killed it. Now, we have to get back up. Which is a little weird, because, hey, we, this thing's not here. But, you go ahead and hit this timer switch, and it toggles things. Well, that was a miss. There we go. Oh, I hit that wrong. Basically, this is timer blocks so that you can get all the way up here and go to the right. And I want some light because we heard a rumble. And it is star gummy time. This time we're going to kill them though because the one on the right is glowing, which means it's got something for us to pick up. Unfortunately, we also have to, you know, not take excessive damage. Which, uh, I seem very great at taking excessive damage. There we go, we dodged. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Well then, let's get some of that back. Well, we got hit with all of that. One down, one to go. Alright, so as you see, just killing the normal one gives you just Rin, but glowing one got us our next Moonstone. And now we are above where that other Moonstone was. I didn't point it out, but it was basically two columns over. So, come to here. Press this stone. Oh, it was wrong. We fall. But we get a Moonstone for our efforts. So, now let's just head back up there. So, what you're actually supposed to do here is hit this switch, and then run. And as you see, this light is flickering, which means we need to interact with this stone. And that was the correct one, so it has opened up a pathway. And now, we are underneath the castle, in what looks to be a kitchen. There is a piece of flint down there, and also, I should still have this equipped, because it's going to be useful. Come on, crank lamp. There we go. Our trusty crank lamp gives us a fire. But with this, we will be ending things here. Next time, we will begin our infiltration of the castle proper. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.